Hi guys, this is Anastasia Hall, just Coach Ace here with Ace and Rich Freedom by Design. Welcome to this video. Today's video training tutorial is going to be about how to post your images and videos on Instagram using the actual program called Grambler from your desktop. Now, all you have to do is we're going to go to Google and we're going to type in Grambler, which is basically a software that you can actually use for free. And you can download it for Mac or PC, right, Windows. And this makes it so simple to use. And I want to show you how I use it, okay? So what I'm going to do is I already have it downloaded. So let me close this out. And I have my Instagram account open, ready to go. And I'm going to go right into Grambler. There it is in my desktop app. Here's what it looks like. Okay. Now there's certain things on this page that you'll see. You'll see select your media, crop any shape, apply some filters, write a caption and send. So we're going to start right here with select your media. Now it's very simple. All you do is see inside this box, click inside the box and select your image. So I'm going to go to my archives over here and I already have some images I want to pick. So let's pick this one. Let's pick some pineapple. All right. So we're going to upload that. Now, if you see how it changes into a cross, right? What that means is that your image is probably too big. So what we need to do is we need to scale it. So you're going to go from corner to corner and drag as far as you can. Okay. And now you're going to click on the green button that says save. All right. There it is right there. Perfect. Now we're going to go to filters. And this is only used if you want to apply different things, different effects, you know, um, frames. If you want to put a frame around it, you can use this for framing. Um, stickers, if you want to put some stickers on there, you can do that. You can flip, you know, use the orientation to flip it around like so. If it comes up, you know, upside down or something. Um, also, you can use the focus. You can change the color, you know, the saturation, the tint, the fade. So we're not going to mess with any of this stuff here. We're just going to go right in. Let me just close this out. Okay. Motion is really good. I like using motion for certain photographs where it actually zooms right into the photograph. As you can see the effect, this is really, really good effect to use for um, images. If you want like a close up visual effect, but we're not going to use that. So let me go back here to picture and we're going to go right to continue. Now we're going to put in our caption. Now let's look for something really, really uh, cool. We're going to go right here to this little square with a smiley face. And this is your emoji library. So I'm going to pick an emoji. Let's see. I know they don't have any pineapples, but I'll use the pine tree, <laughs> the palm tree. Actually, here's the palm tree. And I'm going to just basically type what's in the quote. I like to do that. So be a pineapple stand tall, wear a crown, and stay sweet on the inside. Be a pineapple, stand tall, wear a crown, and stay sweet on the inside. I like that. All right. And let me put a little heart. Cool. All right. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over here where it says immediately and I can click on send. If I want to send it right now, it'll go out immediately. But let's say, for example, you want to do a series of posts for like the entire week. Did you know with Grambler, you can do that. All you have to do is just one by one. You can schedule it one at a time, right? So if I want to have it scheduled to go out tomorrow, I just select tomorrow's date. And then over here, I can put in the military time for when I want it to go out, right? And then hit send, but I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to click immediately. And then over here where it says tag a user and click the image. If I want to tag somebody, I can do that too, if I want. So this is really cool. You can do this all from your desktop, which is awesome, right? So I'm going to go ahead and click on send and it's going to go right to my Ace and Rich Instagram account. So just give it a few minutes. There it is right there. Now guys, if you see this stuff right here, um, like Facebook, Twitter, buy coins. I don't mess with any of the stuff. I'm only using this for the purpose of uploading. So I'm going to go right there and let's go ahead and take a look at the account to see where it's at. I'm going to refresh. There it is right there. Isn't that awesome? And now if I click on it, there is my information right there. See, I already put my description and then one more step that I like to do 
I'm going to go to my previous message. I'm going to highlight all my hashtags that I use because it's relevant. I'm going to like my own posts, paste, press enter, and I'm going to comment as the hashtags. That's one of my biggest tips that I can leave you guys today in this tutorial is comment as your hashtag. You'll get more reach there. So other than that, I want to thank you for watching this video. Click the link below if you'd like to work with Ace and Rich and get some coaching and work with us in the system that we market for. And I promise you, you won't be sorry. It is an awesome system and it's actually going to help you really learn affiliate marketing. So other than that, guys, leave a comment below if you have any questions about this tutorial and I'll see you on the next video. Take care. Bye.